Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about six driving tips for making better right and left hand turns. In this video, I'll be going over six super simple tips that you can use to make better turns while you're driving. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Tip number one is to always signal. You see, when you're driving, you are moving this vehicle that weighs several thousand pounds, and when you're turning, you're going to be moving it in a different direction than you were originally. So if you're driving in a straight line and you want to make a right hand turn, you're changing directions. That's why it's important to signal because signaling allows you to let other drivers and pedestrians know what your plans are. You want to let other drivers and pedestrians know what you want to do. If you want to make a right hand turn, signal right in advance so that everyone knows what you want to do. If you want to make a left hand turn, signal left in advance. It's as simple as that. Driving tip number two. Proceed with caution if you have the right of way. Many people think that as soon as they put their signal on and they have the right of way, they can automatically just turn. They don't have to look anywhere, they can just turn. Proceed with caution if you do indeed have the right of way. So if you figured out that you have the right of way, proceed with caution because what happens if the other driver that's waiting at that same intersection doesn't know that you have the right of way? They think that they have the right of way and you just decide to go and make your left hand turn. It might cause an accident or a near accident and you don't wanna be in that position. So with that being said, always proceed in a cautious manner if you have the right of way. And if you don't have the right of way, let the other driver proceed with caution. Driving tip number three for making better right and left hand turns is that estimation is key. You see, when you're making a right and left hand turn, you have to estimate how much to turn the steering wheel. If your estimation is off, then you're going to be understeering or oversteering. So with that being said, the best way to make your estimation of how much to turn the wheel better is to practice more. The more that you practice making right and left hand turns, the better that you'll be at estimating how much to turn the wheel. So with that being said, if you are a beginner driver, if you're learning how to drive, I would recommend doing some practice drills. Do something like make 50 right hand turns and make 50 50 left hand turns every time that you're practicing driving or at least sometimes when you're practicing driving because that's going to give you better estimation skills for your turns. Driving tip number four for making better right and left hand turns is that practice makes perfect. Just like I just spoke about, the more that you practice, the better that you'll be. When everybody starts driving, everyone can't make good right and left hand turns. It's as simple as that. The way that you get better is with practice. So practice making right and left hand turns and eventually you will continue to get better. And as you get better, eventually you'll become a great driver and you'll be able to make great right and left hand turns. Driving tip number five, it's not only about steering. Now obviously turning right and left is mainly about steering, but if you want to make better and safer and smoother right and left hand turns, it's about accelerating and braking properly. It's about accelerating and slowing down properly. So in addition to your steering, your steering has to be smooth and safe, but your acceleration and your braking, your slowing down, sorry I have a little bit of an itch right here under my eye, your acceleration and your slowing down has to be safe and smooth as well. They all work together to allow you to make better turns. Last but not least, driving tip number six for making better right and left hand turns is learn how to correct oversteering and understeering. Now, there's no doubt that when you're learning how to drive, you're going to oversteer and understeer quite a bit. And that's a great opportunity for you to learn how to correct oversteering and understeering. Even as you become an experienced driver, you're probably going to oversteer and understeer from time to time. So it's important to know how to properly correct oversteering and understeering. It will make you a, it will make you a better better driver and it will allow you to make better right and left hand turns. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over six driving tips for making better right and left hand turns. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.